Hey everybody, it's good to see you again. Kelly with uh, Arkansas Outdoor Adventure Training. Today, uh, me and my son are out and we're gonna do a little bit of uh, what I call survival fishing or hillbilly fishing. Uh, it's not gonna be anything crazy. You're not gonna see us sticking our hands under the stumps or anything like that, but uh, we are gonna be using some alternative methods. Uh, give y'all a couple of couple of fresh ideas maybe some of them are pretty old so uh, I learned them from a lot of the old timers that go fishing uh, nothing that we've done today has been pre-prepared so we don't have anything already made up or uh, built so just going to use things that I've got out of my kit show you exactly how we put it together real simple stuff and uh, we're gonna try to catch a fish so be with you guys in just a few minutes Okay, everybody, I'll apologize before we get started for the wind, but uh, it's pretty windy outside today. Uh, first rule for me in fishing, whether uh, whether I'm just going fishing for fun or it's a survival adventure, is uh, dig your own worms. Worms are everywhere. I was in uh, one of our local super centers the other day, and they've got worms. Uh, 18 worms, I believe, 18 night crawlers for uh, $3. So, survival lesson number one may not be a super center where you're at, so we just dug our own worms. Pretty simple. We probably got, uh, me and my son, we probably got 20, 25 worms in, in about 10 minutes. So, got our worms. And the first setup that I'm going to show you uh, found a bottle on the side of the road. That's it. I got me a little water out of the pond and put in there just so it's not super, super buoyant. But I've got that, and on the neck I've got tied uh, some of our string from the inside of our paracord. And out of my trusty fishing kit that I carry in my bug out bag, I've got uh, I've got a lead sinker there, and then I've got a hook on the end. I hope you guys can see that okay in the sun. This is not a huge hook; it's a fairly small hook. Uh, I'm of the firm belief that a small hook catches small fish or big fish. A big hook only catches big fish. On the other end of this bottle, I've got uh, a whole lot more of that cord off of my uh, out of the 550 cord tied to it. The whole purpose for this setup like this is uh, if I'm in a situation where I don't have a fishing pole and I can't cast out, this jug will allow me to put it on the pond and it'll follow it'll follow uh, on out with the wind into the pond a little bit it'll, it'll cast on out so I can fish in the middle or in different areas you just need to affix enough cord here that uh, that it'll take it wherever you want today we're fishing in a not a huge pond but relatively small pond out on some of my dad's property you can see a few of the horses out and you may hear them in a little bit but uh, we've got a pond out here that hopefully has some fish in it but this uh, could very well be the type of pond you might encounter in a pasture or something like that if you were moving around and found yourself in some sort of a situation so nothing special there's not a lot of trees and stuff in the middle or anything like that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing casted out and then I'll shoot a couple of shots of that thing out there and uh, like I say I'll just get on one side of the pond and I'll let the wind uh, take it on across the pond wherever it wants to go and that'll get me toward more towards the center of the pond so we'll be back in just a few minutes okay guys you don't get to see him very often but this is my son Casey he's gonna demonstrate how he's gonna throw this thing out now first thing you'll notice is he's holding the neck of the bottle in his hand and he's got the bait and everything just kind of just kind of swinging there on the bottom freely the long rope or long string he's got wrapped around his hand so when he tosses this thing out it doesn't go anywhere it's a pretty simple premise he's going to toss the bottle out there the wind's going to take it wherever it takes it you know this is a great way to cast because i put a little water in the bottle and put a little bit of water in the bottle allows you to toss it out there a little farther than you might not than you might be able to if you don't so all right Casey go ahead whenever you're ready pretty simple 
So you got it in the water, and now we'll just let it sit there. One more advantage that the bottle gives you over something else is, uh, once you get the bottle out there, you're really uh, able to tell if there's a fish on because it's going to start swimming against current and everything else. As you'll notice, the bottle kind of moves around and sets pretty still. Uh, the wind will blow it a little bit here and there, but once something starts to get a hold of it, then you'll see it start to move. Kind of like it is right now. You can see it moving around a different area. Now, we're not going to pull it in or try to drag it in at the moment. The reason why, another advantage that the bottle gives you. The bottle gives you a distinct advantage over other things because you can tie this off on the bank and you can walk away and leave it. This bottle is big enough and heavy enough that when something takes the bait and swims away with it, the bottle's not going to allow it to get away. Uh, it's just going to hold it there and kind of keep it keep it where you want it to be. And that way when you come back later, say you come back an hour or two hours later, something like that, similar to a trot line that's tied up, it'll be there waiting for you. And uh, even in a pond like this, even if it were to come loose from the bank or something like that, you can still chase your bottle down if you had to and you got a fish on the end. So. Uh, we're going to let it set for a little while, and uh, if we get a good bite or something like that, we'll try to film it for you. Okay, guys. We've been watching our bottle for a little bit, and started kind of acting funny, and it's come over underneath this tree by the bank. We're going to try to watch it a little bit and see what happens. See all those sudden jerks and movements that it's doing. And it came over here right under the shade of this tree, which leads me to believe since all of a sudden jerking around and moving, going a little bit against the current here and there, leads me to believe that there's something on it. Casey, come check the uh, come check this bottle hook. I want to have Casey pull it up and check it. There it goes again. You see how it just kind of moves around kind of freely. I hope that's about a five pound catfish because you're hard to feed. Okay. Hold it up there so we can kind of get a good look at it. Alright. Well, it's not a it's not a four pound catfish, but uh, it's dinner. It's dinner. It'll do. So there's fish number one on the uh, redneck bottle fishing trap. Or uh bottle fishing line so that's uh, that's just kind of lesson number one on uh, one of the simple ways to catch fish uh, when you're out in survival situation if you can find something that floats whether that be a nice dry piece of wood or uh, some sort of uh, bottle or anything like that that'll float that'll kind of get you out there a little ways if you can't really cast and that'll uh, help supplement your your little fishing kit a little bit so we'll do uh, some more fishing videos as time allows uh, i've got a couple more ideas for you guys but for right now we're going to go ahead and call it quits so we appreciate you tuning in thanks